welcome back everyone. We're going to be doing uh, part two of the Beta DIY Barracks here uh, today. So let me turn you around and I can show you kind of what we're going to be doing. I'm going to set you up for a time lapse and then we can kind of watch the process as it goes. Um, so pretty much what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be drilling where that, that Sharpie mark is. We're going to be drilling a hole into there so that when we run the piece out of the back of the uh, container here, it's going to have a hose that drops down into there and then it'll run down into my uh, my sump system. Let me show you kind of what we're going to be using for that. We're going to be using the Rainbird swing pipe elbow. Um, so it just looks like this. Now we're just going to be drilling a hole in the container with our drill here and then a half inch hole saw. Um, and we do have to make it a little bit bigger than this just because this is an exact size. Um, and this is actually too small for that. So we just need to make it a little bit bigger and all we'll do is we'll actually screw this in, put a piece of pipe off of this, and then it'll drop down into that PVC pipe. So uh, stay tuned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take it, I'm gonna do it about just the distance from this. Um, I think I'm going to go about an inch from the top. So I'm get my tape measure. I think if I go an inch from the top, that'll give me enough space. Um, something isn't draining to give me a little bit of room for air. We don't have to be dead center. What I'm going to do is the actual size of the hole on the inside here. I'm just going to show you that. There. I'm going to take my drill. All right, so that's a little bit bigger now. Start threading. Because if I can get it to start threading, that means it's going to be more of a solid, tighter seal in there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that's actually sealing in there now. And then I'm just going to kind of bend it like that. And that should be in there perfect. Um, does look like it actually might be perfectly waterproof on here too. So what I'm going to do is probably run a bead of silicone around the outside here um, once I get them all drilled. And then that way, nothing will drip out of here. About 20 of them. I'll probably end up doing all 20 um, just to make sure that I've got enough for how many betas I have. So let me just keep going with this and uh, I'll catch you guys back after 20 of these. Okay, so I ran to Home Depot because I needed to get another piece. Um, so I got a Ryobi countersink three quarter inch. Um, and what that is doing is that's actually making these holes quite a bit bigger. ready for this. So I'm going to pour a little bit into the first one. See it's running down, but we know it works. So tip it back a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Yes! Best sound in the world right there. Alright, we'll catch you back in a second. Let me just uh, do a couple more. In a sea of 